What is good YouTube? It is your boy Xavier Ashton, aka Ash Royale, back here again with another video. And as you can see from the title, your boy is going to Dreamfest. This is my first time going. I was supposed to go uh, before COVID started, but you already know how that go. I'm actually going to be joined by Chef K. If you don't remember him, uh, when I first started doing YouTube, he was in like a couple of my challenge videos. I even pranked him by putting his car on fire, but that was like long ago. So he's coming along for the ride. He's actually still not here yet um it's about 12 o'clock i still haven't packed so i gotta do all that and we're supposed to be leaving about like 3 to 3 30 in the morning our plane leaves at 6 so you know you should always be at your flight basically about an hour and a half to two hours before the flight leaves just in case anything happens so uh instead of me doing all this talking um i think i should actually go pack so let me start doing that So we finally got on the plane. I literally couldn't record anything. It's been a nightmare ever since we got here. We had to go from one side of the airport to the other side. We took the little Uber joint. But uh, as you can see, he's here. I just want to say, I saw you, Rory. I'm a big fan. I ain't, I'm, I don't be the creep that was looking at you, but I saw you. Basically, he saw some dude from the Joe Budden podcast. But Not just any podcast. I saw him from the podcast of the year. Anyways. 20 seconds and counting. T minus 15 seconds. Guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9. Ignition sequence start. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. We have just touched down in North Carolina. I can't wait to take this mask off. Oh my god. Cause yo, I cannot breathe. Oh I'm so used to not wearing a mask, bro. But uh good news is the hotel is only like 10 minutes away. So I'll see y'all when I get there. Well that was short lived because I forgot once you go on the Uber you still gotta put on a mask. But yeah, the good thing about um our hotel, it's only like six minutes away. So that's kind of like a clutch thing. So, you know, when we come back, we won't have to go through what we did so basically we got in enough time actually we were on the other side of the airport if it wasn't for the uber driver dude in the airplane i said in the airplane in the airport uh we never would have made it so shout out to that man um yeah because we just made it literally while they were calling our group in but uh our uber is about to be headed in so here he comes right now down in the hotel um it's about 8 30 you know checking is usually at three but uh luckily for us they had room ready so that's what we're currently waiting on um and then i'll get back to you guys we got god on our side able to check in early this man bought me a damn corona it is 8 40 in the morning 8 40 in the morning yes, sir. i copped this he talking about yeah we getting started early Start early. <laughs> turn, it, turn that down for me, cuz. Turn, turn it down. Just, just a little bit. Let me, let me speak to the folks. Alright, man. So, we have finally settled in into the hotel. God has been on our side all day because we damn near almost missed our flight. If it wasn't for the little Uber dude in the, in the, uh, in the airport, yeah, we wouldn't have made our flight. There was no way we was making that. But, you know, we're about to get something to eat. 
because sh- when, when's the last time you ate? Uh, two o'clock this morning. I had a piece of pepperoni. I'm dead. No, I haven't ate since like <laughs> seven yesterday, bro. I had halal food, bro. Yo, there's some halal food on Main Street. That joint be busting. Yeah, I forgot to tell you that, but yeah, that's what I had. But um, yeah, <laughs> we're about to get something to eat. And then uh, I'm not going to front. I'm finna take the craziest nap because your boy is working on only two hours of sleep. We're not going at 12. Yeah, absolutely not. Yeah, so we're done. <laughs> There's really nobody to see until uh, I think like 2 o'clock, Fabi comes on. But like before then, it's, I mean, it's dope. You know, we want to experience everything, but uh, I ain't in a rush. Your boy's tired. Everybody's really on the second day. And you know, everybody came for Cole, really. So that's cool. I think little Baby's here, so that's going to be dope. That's going to be the first time I see him. Um, it's gonna be the second time I see Cole because I saw Cole at Rolling Loud and the AC just came on and that is so disrespectful So with that being said because this is probably louder than my voice now, we're gonna get something to eat. So I'll catch you guys later The time is now 2.23. Once again, we're late. We've been late all this trip. So we missed Fabi already. Um, I'm trying to figure out what I actually want to wear at the moment because I do have these EE shorts and I was planning on wearing them with this outfit, but it's like 60 degrees outside. I think the highest is going to be 65. And then of course, when it gets uh, you know darker outside at nighttime, it's going to get colder. So I don't know if I should rock with these um, let me actually show you the first fit and then I'll just show you what it looks like if I put the camel pants on So give me one sec. Okay, so this is the first variation of the first fit uh, I got some 550s on basically to match like the yellow um, It's a nice little ice cream shirt, you know sunshine and everything. Uh, I got a little Yankee hat pink brim. So Should I do this? Like I said, it's gonna be kind of cold. Uh, well 60 is not really that hot, you know, but as you know the day goes by, it's gonna get colder. So should I do this or this? I don't know. I guess down below, let me know which one you like. So it is now day two of Dream Fest, and I just came to the realization that me vlogging this thing is going to be an absolute fail because it's a music festival, so everything's copyrighted, which got me mad to even talk about because you cannot bring cameras like this into an event like that unless you are working for a magazine or you have, like you're working with the uh, festival, you know, itself. But how many people did we see yesterday with these big ass rig cameras? And everybody we asked was like, yeah, I don't have a media pass. So I'm sitting here and I'm like, I could have brought my camera with me to vlog. But then I thought about it again. And like I just said, the music is too loud. So everything's going to be copyrighted. You're not going to hear me. And there's just going to be a lot of bumping. So all the footage is going to be shaky. Actually, I take that part back because Rolling Loud is just like a whole bunch of raging teenagers. And everybody here is just be chilling. Like you'll be in a crowd and people will be sitting on the floor, not even watching the concert but like just sitting on the floor just enjoying the music so it's definitely a better experience just lay down some people just lay down and just smoke yeah like, bro it's like so much more chill than rolling yeah. loud like rolling loud was like a whole bunch of molly popping teenagers pushing people raging punch people in the <laughs> face it was like honestly ridiculous but like here it's just everybody's chilling but um like i said i will i guess just show you highlights because i think i could do them in like 10 second intervals and I won't get hit with a copyright strike.
sweet little bitch, but like a porn star. Next day, I just like ya. Yeah. Bitches as the house, yeah. Pegging super baby, no god. Two love high until I woke up. Out this world is super. No. Fuck that! Sing it to me! Look at my wrist, I got time to die Fuck it, I'm crossing the line and die You hate me so real, the love be fake Be bumping they guns and popping my shit Don't go against me, then ask for my help Go get out your feelings and get it yourself I got a sign shoes, but you ain't gon' step That shit that you kept put out, you could've kept Yo, I'm sitting here knowing I don't need you Pouring O's in the Sipping, chasing with my feet Can't keep my mind on what keeps you Watch me put my heart in this cup In my feelings, she my therapist so I'ma talk to this cup Ring around the room, see Cup full of what? I hope I don't OD She keep saying Turn me to that purple demon emoji One, two You don't need no Up, I'm reaching out, I got up. Break it down, we up, now back it up. Make a dime with us, then a nigga. I pack the jet, get a boy, bust so I can pop him. We was in the hood, set a bag, show him chops out of the fuckin' round, try to go and at least a helicopter. Baby, really a problem, somebody gotta stop him, man. My head is watching too hard, I think they got me. One, two, three, let's go. You can get the biggest Chanel back in the store if you want. Yeah. I gave her the drill, they set it up, I got them on. And I bought a new paddock, I had the white, so I took home. Two, taking these drugs, I'm gonna be up until the morning. That ain't your car, you just a little seat on. I'm in the club, I got that fire on the back here just came in and I was on the Rides the little cute shit, they all in full of sticks So if they say we can't come, you know we'll run around that bitch You can miss me with that shit, you know I never been in a mix Money, cars, and clothes, and hoes, you know I never been in a mix Money, cars, and clothes, and hoes Dream feel makes some noise for the baby, what's up? I took pictures yesterday, so I'll show you that I also cop some merch, so uh, I'm gonna show you guys that real quick. So the first thing I have here is a jacket because, yo, it gets cold here at night and it has the Dream Festival logo on the back and then on the front it has the Dream Festival logo again and like the sunflower. Um, I'm not going front, this jacket was $95 and believe me when I tell you it was worth every penny. The only thing I don't really like about it is like all this yellow lining in here. I'm looking like a Pittsburgh Steeler fan, but um, the jacket is fine. I got this in a small and originally I was going to get it in a medium because everything else I cop was in a medium. But um, if I would have got a medium, this would have been like just probably too big. Uh, the only thing I don't think I'll be able to wear this with is with hoodies because it'll definitely be tight in here. That's why I was thinking about getting a medium, but just a nice little coach jacket, you know, and it keeps you warm. Uh, this is actually my second like favorite piece. My first favorite item, I'm about to show you this right here. Dreamville Festival, black hoodie, um, well, black crew neck. I got this in a medium. Now, the reason why I got the tees and the sweatshirts in a medium is because what I realize every time when I go to like any type of place that they create their own merch, once you wash these things, they shrink, you know? Um, so. There you go, medium. Like I said, it fits good all in here. It's probably a little bit long right here, but I mean, you know how we do with Fair God Essentials. You just could tuck that in and you know, it looks good on you. And then I was going to buy a hoodie to the last item I bought, but I was just like, you know what? Let me cop the t-shirt. So let me show you guys that real quick. I don't think it was a cream hoodie. I believe it was a pink hoodie, but as you can see, cream color. Uh, green letters which you know green and cream just always go together and then the back it has like a crossword puzzle like a you know pattern to it so feeling it like I said you wash these things and they shrink so honestly if I would have got a small this probably just would have been too small for me it's honestly weird when you like wear regular stuff and then you wear fair god stuff because fair god stuff you always go a size down. So every time when I'm buying something, I'm thinking it's oversized already, but then I do want the oversized look. It's like a lot of measurement math that's just real stupid. But yeah, this was the last piece I caught. Fit check, I said forget everything. This is what I'm going with. It's the last day. I'm putting on the merch. 
and I got the beaters on, but it's a nice little fit. I'm a hype beast. Uh, you're a hype beast. Look what you're wearing. <laughs> yeah, show them what you're wearing, hype beast. And and the sunglasses, you know what I'm saying, to, to finish it off. Look at Mr. Hype Beast. He got the socks over the sweats, but oh, he wait, don't. Wait, 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 but wait, he wait. don't ball. Wait, wait, wait. You gotta you gotta give him the, the YouTube thing. We y'all y'all stupid ones just. Do. Oh, I'm dead. I think I'll do it like impractical movements in your shoes and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Who, Who stands like that? I just wanted to say it's 3.13 and Kenny's always the last person to get ready and our oh. shuttle comes at 3.30. Mind you, yesterday I left. He told me, yo, I'm gonna come down with you, right? Luckily, the Uber got here late. It took him 20 minutes to get downstairs. Let me just say something, man. Lil Baby was supposed to perform. Yeah, I ain't hearing all that. With that being said, we out of here. I P. So it's Monday morning, guys. We are about to check out. Last night was definitely an experience to remember. Um... Yo, I'm not gonna lie, I will come to Dreamfest every year um, because it's just a vibe, honestly. I wanted to see Wale, but by the time he came, he was like 20 minutes late, and then T-Pain was performing next on the other stage, so you know I had to see my boy T-Pain. stage and then um i miss uh the gangster girls with ti wayne and jeezy because ari lennox played which i'm not gonna lie bro ari lennox has a beautiful voice because I was just honestly amazed of how good she could sing live. But the reason why I never left the stage after T-Pain is just like, it was T-Pain, Ari Lennox, and then of course, J. Cole, who we all came to see. So I wasn't leaving that stage. So yeah, I miss Wiz um, and I miss the whole gangster girls, like whole duo, dynamic trip, whatever the hell you want to call that. But I mean, it was, I mean, it was, <laughs> it is what it is because honestly to see J. Cole, <laughs> Family
coming up. We had a penthouse on the road, interior decorated with a hoe. Just like a multiple truck in the show, my nigga. Like, scoop up a time piece like we holding it. And we gon' sit up back to the toe. Out of the concrete was a road. And when it was. Hey! Top of the morning, I know that you thought I was dormant. Woke up early from shop that was swarming. I'm dropping the house, not a cop in the orbit. Cause the body got partnered and I get no doors trying to find an informant. But I ain't seen Nathan, I'm out of my business. It's got in my witness, the weapon gon' profit and form it. Against me, think I'm starving, they miss me. No one up there when these thoughts, you gon' miss me. Chabaran, I'm up. Last night, they pull up on my nigga at the night, like, huh? Nice work! Hands, any, Tape, so it was cool to see like the 2014 J. Cole fans. Yes, that's a joke I always have. Like, I felt like 2014 is when J. Cole became popular and everybody started listening to him. But then, like, I listened to all his mixtapes, so it was funny to see like the uh dynamic of who was there from the beginning and then who was there since like 2014 because you could see who could be singing the lyrics from back in the day versus who's singing the new lyrics, you know. So, uh, that was dope. Half of me is comfortable, the other half is close to the clip. Like this is Huxtable, the boys got their posters and clips They pack like Lunchables, like white boys in grade school While we ate school made food just I ain't that shit, wish I was trying that shit Knowing when mama hit the stove, she wasn't buying that shit No, I ain't crying a bit, man, that's just like that's how that shit work The whole J. Cole, like, performance was just so damn dope and I felt like the best part of the whole thing is just how he ended it and all the emotions that went through the air. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Your boy teared up at the end. Just, just a little bit. It was just everything. Like, everything was just so amazing how it all ended. Thank y'all for coming out. Thank y'all for coming out. Thank y'all for coming out. We'll see y'all next year. Thank y'all for coming out, man. Said, I just want to say thank you, Cole, because your festival was so dope. I'm definitely going to come back every year. It was real North Carolina. We about to check out this hotel and head to the airport. And until then, I guess I'll see you guys.